I got to know Jesus, and through him, I got to know Mary of Nazareth and Joseph of Nazareth. The name of our community and the name of uh, our convent, it didn't just happen overnight. Where years of discernment between Cardinal Sean and I, and my spiritual director, years of discernment about my whole spiritual journey leading up to where I am today, to enter into Nazareth with Mary, and Joseph, and then form these young women who are with me or those who will come in the future into the same spirituality. I'm not going to ask them to fast the way that I fast or the way that I fasted, but I feel it's the same message. Because my journey with Jesus in the desert through years of fasting, as I said, gave me a deeper understanding of his own parents of Mother Mary and St. Joseph. And as we are living, all of us, this year, this year of faith that our Holy Father declared it for all of us to enter deeper into our faith, I wanted to spend a little bit time with you to meditate and reflect and share a few thoughts about Mary's faith and Joseph's faith. Especially as we enter into Advent season, let's journey with, with both of them. Maybe not exactly on a donkey, entering Jerusalem and traveling from Nazareth to Jerusalem. But let's ask them for that grace. Please, Mother Mary, please St. Joseph, help me in these coming four or five weeks to journey with you. So that my, I get to know more and more about your faith, both of you. So I would become closer to Jesus as you were. There is so much to share about St. Joseph and so much to share about the Blessed Mother. And I'm sure you have heard many, 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 many wonderful talks and homilies from many holy men and women and theologians and scholars about you know, the, the biblical uh, resources that we have about the life of the Blessed Mother or St. Joseph. I would like to share just few reflections from my own personal encounter and experience of journeying with them, especially during Advent season. When I think first of St. Joseph, what do you think of him? Like just imagine Joseph in these last few weeks. He struggled already at the beginning of Annunciation. He struggled about what to do with Mary, what to do with the custom of his time, his culture, his religion. Who is this child? I'm sure there were so many questions. And then we all know the story of Annunciation, Joseph's Annunciation, when the angel appeared to him and told him, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. He told him, who is this child? But do you think everything was immediately gone from Joseph's heart? Can you imagine Joseph waiting for the moment of the birth of that child? And then waiting to see his destiny, destiny, waiting to see what this child would be. Can you imagine all these questions in Joseph's heart? Not only in the nine month, months of pregnancy, but especially as they were getting closer. I have had the privilege of accompanying a number of BU alumni in a delivery room, literally watching some of my BU young women giving birth. I witnessed birth of four children the 10 years I was at BU. And I was privileged by one of the couples who also asked me to cut the cord of their baby, their first baby child. I always say witnessing birth of a child is the second miracle I have ever seen after the Eucharist. It's the most beautiful miracle after the Eucharist. And just imagine Joseph waiting for that moment. There is a beautiful song called the Song of, Saint jo song of Joseph. I know these are not his exact words, but you can almost imagine hearing them from the heart of Joseph. In the song it says, How could it be? I've been all years of my life a simple carpenter. How can I raise a king? How can I raise a king? I know this child is not of my flesh, but he might be 
of my love for you. Just imagine all these words, all these thoughts, all these questions in his heart. I always say, when I think of faith of St. Joseph, it's the one of wonder. Every time when I walk down the aisle to receive communion, I invite St. Joseph to give me his heart, that I would receive Jesus with the same wonder. We all know when Mary gave birth, she didn't have a midwife with her, she didn't have a doctor, she didn't have a nurse, she, did, she wasn't even in a hospital or at home, she didn't have his own mother with her, her own mother with her, it was only Joseph. And those of you who have witnessed, or the, the, the young women who are here, mothers, who have given birth, or you have seen other women giving birth, you know who would touch the body of the child out of the womb. I always, in my own personal reflection and prayer to St. Joseph, whom I love so dearly, I always think of him as a first priest, whose hands were the first human hand to touch the real body of Christ, out from the womb of Mary. Joseph was there. Just imagine. He teaches me a lot about adoration. Just imagine how he looked at that little baby. The baby that the angel spoke about him. The angel spoke about the Messiah, the whole people, nation of Israel has been waiting for. Just imagine Joseph's eyes at that moment. If you never prayed with Joseph during Christmas, I encourage you to pray with him this Advent. That as you get closer to, to Christmas, celebrating the birth of Christ, that you would never look at the Eucharist the same, but always through the eyes of Joseph. So Joseph's faith is a faith of wonder and awe. Very often, especially for those of us who are brought up in faith since we were little, unfortunately, sometimes we take things for granted. We say, well, it's just the same Sunday Mass over and over and over, and it's okay if I miss one day communion, and if it's okay if this happened, we take things for granted. I pray that St. Joseph will teach us to never look at the communion the same. I'm 46 years old, and I still, after all these years of being brought up in faith, I still beg Joseph every day when I receive communion to give me his heart, to give me his eyes, I want to look at the Eucharist through the eyes of St. Joseph and receive him through his heart. I pray as you prepare for your Advent that faith of St. Joseph, the solid, firm faith built on so much wonder, admiration, adoration, when you struggle in adoration, I very often hear people saying, I cannot even sit still in adoration 15 minutes because my mind starts wandering, you know, thinking about a lot of things. I cannot concentrate. I cannot focus. I cannot stay still. Go to Joseph. Ask Joseph to teach you how to truly be in adoration. Pray in front of Nativity this year in a way that you never prayed before. And look at Joseph's eyes and tell him, give me your eyes when I go to adoration. Give me your hearts when I go to adoration. <coughs> that is where we need to begin. We have forgotten how to look at Jesus. We have forgotten how to see Jesus. And St. Joseph can renew that look in us. St. Joseph can renew that fire in us that we would look at Jesus in a way that we never did before. 